Hello everyone, welcome back to some penage over here. Um, today I'm doing something a little different. I have a pen, and if you are familiar with pens, you will recognize that this pen is a Lamy pen. <laughs> okay, uh, thank you to Lamy Canada for sending this for me to check out. Surprisingly, I don't have one of these. I have never personally owned one of these. I have used one like here and there, but this is the first time I've ever had one of my own to really explore. This is the Lamy 2000 up in Macrolon. So this is the packaging. It's very simple packaging. I actually really like that Lamy's packaging is all consistent. I cannot stand when boxes are all different sizes and super complicated and I'm just, I, I like the simplicity here. It comes with a little pamphlet which shows you their models and how to operate them quite simply. It's, it's very basic, but it works. The pen is in a sleeve, and this is the 2000 Macrolon version. Now, um, my first impression is it's a light pen. It has been several years that I have since I have really used one of these pens. Um, Steven used to have one, and he found it too light. He preferred the metal version, so he ended up selling his Macrolon. I never really had a chance to really get the hang, like get the feel for it. Um, I have also used the metal one. There is a full review of the metal one on my blog, but the Macrolon is sort of iconic, right? Because it's it's been around for so long. Um, the It's like the Bauhaus design movement thing. I'm not really, I don't know a whole lot about design. I know for some people that's really important. For me, I, it's not really important like how iconic the design is or whatever. Um, what I personally am interested in is how I enjoy the pen. So I regret to inform you, this is not going to be a fancy design inspired review. It's just going to be me talking about what I think on my first impression of this pen, like how I, how I feel about it. So um, I like the design. I, I like rounded pens. I tend to prefer rounded ends, like cigar-shaped pens, but I must admit, flat tops have been growing on me because I recently purchased two Sailor Sapporos, which are Pro Gears, and they have, uh, Pro Gear Slim, sorry, they have flat tops. So it's like a whole new thing for me, and I'm okay with it because it's fun to explore different pens. I like it. It's, it's a very basic pen. It's very simple. It is like a brushed Macrolon, super light. The finial is a bit shiny. The clip is it suits the design of the pen. Um, it's spring-loaded. Very minimal branding. The underside of the clip says Germany and the side here says Lamy, but it's like really tiny so you won't be able to see it, I don't think. Oh, there you go, you can see it. Lamy. One of the things I really like about this pen is the capping and uncapping. It is a slip cap. It has these little knobs right here to grip the cap. It does post very nice like it's a very comfortable posting pen very snug very secure the note like the section nose cone is i'm guessing aluminum but it's also brushed so it has like that smoother feeling it has an ink window which it is not inked right now because i thought we would ink it on camera like on screen and then have a first impression writing sample of it and the ink i have selected is Vibrant Pink, which is the special edition ink for the year. So it is a piston filler, so you operate it by, in case you're unfamiliar with this, you operate it by turning the piston turning knob and your little piston will move down and ink your pen. I have flushed the pen because Lamy tests, like dip tests all their nibs, and so it had a bit of trace washable blue in it. That's totally normal. So if you buy a new Lamy and you have washed like some blue ink in yours, it's totally normal. Uh, just so I don't forget, it has this little knob too. I like the, the coordinating of the silver and the black, like that's kind of fun. It is not like a girly, like shiny, pretty pen, if that's what you're going for, that's totally fine. Like, let me see here. I've got a Banu pen, the Bird of Paradise. Like obviously these are very different pens, right? Like totally different styles. That's totally fine. Maybe you like it, maybe you don't. 
When I first saw this pen, I didn't like it at all. I didn't understand why people were raving about it. It just didn't appeal to me. However, my that was that was many many years ago. Um, my fountain pen journey has been like an exploration. I have purchased pens I never thought I would use. I bought pens I thought I would love forever and ended up not loving them anymore. So it's kind of an adventure and it's it's fun. So let's ink this up. Let's take a look at how it writes because um, the Lamy 2000 it has like a like a semi hooded nib and I have a broad on here. This is a gold nib. And uh, it's rhodium plated to, to like to match. It is quite stubby from looking at it. Now I have a Lamy Safari here, which also has a broad nib. It's just a seal, a steel. But you can see that this is a rounder nib. Now you may have heard people talking about like the Lamy 2000 nibs being difficult or having a, a sweet spot, and I think this is why. I, I've, again, I've only used this pen like very infrequently, so this is my first real experience with this pen. I think the reason this happens is because of this. The Safari, the All Star, the Vista, um, the Studio, they all have broad nibs that are rounded, and the Lamy 2000 has a broad nib that is stubbier. So if you, I, I'm guessing the, the shape of the nib is affecting the sweet spot, so a lot of people might be expecting the, the experience of a, of a round nib, but a stub is a little bit different. So, I'm just speculating, I'm just taking a look at it and guessing here, I don't know, we will see what happens when I ink it up and try to write with it. So, this will be a... this will be fun, it'll be my first writing with a, the new Lamy 2000. So let's do that. Thank you again to Lamy Canada for sending this pen for me to check out, uh, I'm very grateful. The pen, now, I know you can buy these in the U.S. all over the place, um, but in Canada, if I were to go, for example, to Wonder Pens, the Macrolon is two hundred and twenty-six dollars Canadian. So you can convert that to your own currency, whatever is applicable to you. Uh, for for us here in Canada, it's a it's definitely a pen you'd have to consider. Like it's not just you know spending forty dollars on a Safari. Um, it's something you want to think about, see if you like it, see if you're interested in it. So let's take a look at that in a bit more detail, and I will see you in a second. Bye! Hi-ho! Cookie crumbs! We have the Lamy 2000. Yes, there's ink all over my hands. I'm so sorry. Um, this is the Lamy 2000 Macrolon, so we are going to ink it up. Ah! Sorry about my computer. We're going to ink it up, and we are going to see what it writes like. Now, um, we have uh, the... 2018 vibrant pink. Let's just, it's got some particles in it, like some golden bits or silver bits. So we're gonna just shake it up a little. Now, if you've never used the piston filler before, it is super easy in this case. You rotate your back, the, the piston turning knob. First of all, you want to immerse your pen up into the dot, which is not that far. Then you turn your piston turning knob to depress the piston and then when you turn it back, it will suck ink up. And I'm only going to do one turn. You can do that for three times or so, and it'll fill up your your ink capacity. But there is ink in there already, so let's just cap this. Let's dry that off. Okay, put this away. Now remember, we are using a gold broad nib, and my notebook of choices. The Maruman Nemusine notebook. After we do this, we're going to write quickly with the steel broad nib on the Safari. This is the all black version, in case you're wondering. This is this year's special edition Safari. I think they actually make a pretty solid pair, but anyway, it's not about that. So let's do, I wonder if I should zoom in just a tiny bit. A little bit. Okay. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is just some quick scribbling. Okay, um, we have... Oh yeah, that's definitely stubby. Lamy. 2000. I'm, I'm writing really weird because I want you to be able to see what I'm writing. Like this is the weird angle. Macrolon. Hello. Jello. Now you can you can actually probably see the line variation already. Yep, 
That's super stubby. I'm. It's not a sharp stub. It's definitely stub, but not italic. Okay. It's um, it's on the firm side. It has a touch of. You can see that I, I was able to squeeze a little bit of wetness and variation out there, um, but it's it's not a soft nib. But I wouldn't necessarily apply pressure to this on the regular. Um, this is a bit of a dry ink, but it's still pretty wet. So interesting, um, interesting that it's so stubby. Now they're not the only ones that do this. Like other companies make broad nibs that tend to be on the stubby side, especially Mont Blanc, first one that comes to mind, and um, it's not a bad thing. But wait, before we do that, look how cool that ink window is. And if you want to hear that capping mechanism, here we go. All right. Okay, super smooth. It's actually really nice. So that was the 2000 Macrolon. Oh, you know what? I probably should write. Um, Broad, yay. It's actually pretty well tuned. Not much in the way of skipping. And I'm going really fast here. Well, relatively fast. Keeps up well. All right. Now let's take a look at the, um, the steel broad. So this is the Lamy All, no wait, yes. All black, sorry. This is a steel broad, and you can tell that this one is round. Right? Definitely. Okay. Lovely. All right, that's it. I just wanted to show you the first impression of the Lamy 2000. Oh, this nib is much smoother than that steel one. You can hear the difference. Right? Thank you all so much for joining me. If you found this useful, if you enjoyed this, um, please do like and subscribe and share if you want. I would really appreciate it. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon as Gourmet Pens. And check out Lamy Canada. I will link to them below. So that's everything. Again, thank you so much for watching. We will see you next time. Bye-bye.